Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rui Huang from MD Linux team and focus on the multi components and the in the Linux kernel, including the CPU power management and the GPU DRM graphics compute support uh, over about uh, 10 years. Uh, this is my first time to present talk in the Linux Conf at Open Source Summit. So it's my great honor uh, to have an opportunity to talk about the new CPU frequency control mechanism on Linux here to all of you. In fact, uh, it is a long time since we prepared the solution last year. And then we started to upstream the kernel module at September and take seven rounds of public uh, upstream code review. And then uh, until about early of this year, uh, the initial patch set uh, was finally uh, accepted by the kernel uh, 5.17. And today, uh, I would like to go through for technical sharing uh, with the overall design and the implementation uh, of for this solution. Uh, thank you uh, so much uh, to be here and listen to my introduction. And uh, feel free to contact me uh, if you have uh, any questions. Um, okay, move to the background. And this is the list function uh, is required from the Chrome project uh, with the CZN chips. Uh, that is the first MSR solution uh, support for the collaborative uh, processor performance control. Uh, let I will say uh, CPPC uh, because the Chromebook uh, would like to have a better performance per watt scale uh, in their new product. And at the same time, why we were working uh, with wars of engineers uh, to enable Steam Deck on the MD platform last year. Uh, we were tuning the Steam game's uh, performance on the Vulkan D3D Proton. And they found two issues and on the MD processors. Uh, one uh, is something wrong with the CPU frequency uh, prints, and another uh, is slow motion. Uh, on the Horizon uh, Zero Jaw, and we spent a long time to investigate them and found a quite, uh, quite a few problems uh, for ACPI CPU freak driver on the MD processors. So we thought the ACPI uh, CPU freak driver might not be very performance and power efficiency on the modern CPU platforms. Okay, let's talk about existing the kernel uh, frequency control here. Uh, as we know, uh, Linux kernel provides a, a CPU freak framework uh, to use the kernel governors on demand and the schedule to such as and the, uh, the port, uh, this kind of policy to control the C, uh, CPU clocks. And many years ago, uh, Intel implemented uh, ACPI based CPU freak driver and it is absolutely a very good driver uh, to uh, provide a generous solution uh, on on the Lexi Intel processor uh, before the Sandy Bridge. Then they switch to a uh, Intel specific P state driver uh, in recent CPU series. Mm. However, uh, Current MD CPU platforms are still using the ACPI based CPU freak driver uh, to manage uh, the CPU frequency and the clocks uh, with, on, with switch on in, in 3P state. Uh, the ACPI based uh, CPU frequency driver uh, develops the, on, based on the Intel platforms and, and that will maybe bring some potential issues on the MD processors. Uh, the, the MD hardware also provides a uh, former based CPU clocks dynamic power management. And it is also uh, to control the processor frequency, uh, we call it DPM. 
uh, the ACPI CPU freak driver is not available of the ACP, uh, AMD CPU clocks DPM in the former. So they would have, uh, have the conflict to impact the final target frequency. So we plan to design and implement a new AMD CPU free, con uh, uh, free control proposal. Uh, this proposal is expected uh, to handle the hardware functionalities such as the AMD uh, CPU SMU former and SAP uh, CPPC handling. The AMD processor uh, provides the MSR register as the backend mailbox uh, for the frequency control. Uh, because uh, MSR is a low latency register model uh, that is faster than the ACPI AML uh, code interpreter. Uh, above all, um, we decide to implement a new MDP state driver uh, instead of ACPI uh, CPU freak driver for MD platform. Uh, it is able to use a finer gram uh, CPPC frequency range uh, instead of traditional ACPI 3P states uh, to control the CPU frequency. Uh, we can uh, use even leverage the uh, kernel governor, uh, such as the uh, uh, schedule tools uh, to predict the workload to calculate uh, the reasonable uh, design, design performance values with the Linux CPU CFS scheduler. And we mainly use the schedule tool governor uh, to optimize the solution and manage the hints uh, to the SMU CPU clocks DPM to calculate final target frequency. Okay, uh, this page uh, expands the main uh, method, the main method of the uh, frequency control in the former. Uh, that formula uh, is got from the SMU former, and it is the algorithm uh, lets the SMU former to adjust the, the frequency at low level. I probably uh, cannot go details to of the algorithm uh, because we can know uh, the target uh, frequency is many decided by the uh, activity here. The activity uh, in fact de indicates the maximal uh, C0 uh, resistance uh, during the DPM uh, cycle. Uh, that means uh, the input uh, is decided by the uh, CPU idle driver in the Linux kernel. Uh, it's very similar on with on-demand governor in the Linux kernel. And I, I will expand later in this discussion. Okay, uh, these four performance values are defined for MDP state performance capability entries. Uh, they are the performance scales, uh, which is mapped as different processor frequencies. You know, uh, the different processors type have uh, different frequencies. Uh, MDP state solution introduce a continuous uh, continuously performance uh, scaling uh, between the highest perf and the lowest perf. Uh, the highest perf is similar with the uh, both state before, and the nominal perf uh, is similar with P0 states. And the processor frequency can can be dynamic adjusted during this range. Okay. This is another four performance values are defined uh, uh, for the MD uh, P state performance control uh, entries. Uh, the performance scales, uh, which are mapped at different processor frequencies as well, uh, user can assign the performance range as the hints to the hardware. Uh, the hardware can control the real-time frequency con uh, according to the hints that the MDP state driver uh, provides. Uh, and, the f and the fourth uh, scale uh, is different. Uh, it is provide hints uh, if the driver want to bounce the towards the performance or energy efficiency. Uh, we are still working on this feature at this moment and continue upstream the support once it gets verified. 
Okay. Uh, this kernel uh, has several governors such as on-demand uh, performance, uh, power safe, uh, user space, and the schedule two uh, to control the general uh, frequency change for most of CPU processors. Uh, performance and power safe set highest and the lowest performance goals. Uh, statically, uh, for the processor ports, uh, cores can uh, support and uh, the the on-demand governors are uh, is mainly used for the most of the current processors uh, besides the modern AMD Zen series CPU. Uh, this governor uh, sets the CPU uh, frequency depending on the current uh, system workloading. Uh, Schedule 2 governor expects the better uh, integration uh, with the Linux kernel scheduler. Uh, and the and the load estimation is achieved uh, through the schedules uh, per entity loading checking method, uh, which is also provides the information about recently uh, workloading. The MD CPU uh, freak design uh, is to uh, create a new kernel module, uh, named it MDP state driver, uh, under the CPU freak subsystem. Uh, this module can assess the CPPC related MSR registers, uh, which are provided on some of the Zen 3 and the later MD processors, uh, which uh, includes the CPPC functionality. Uh, the SMU former can detect the hints, uh, last MD P state passes, uh, while the MSR registers and responds the request uh, into the hardware to control CPU clocks according to the performance goals from the MDP state module. The CPU core, uh, the CPU core, uh, uh, the, sorry, the CPU free, uh, the uh, CPU free cores uh, estimate CPU uh, usage statics uh, over the last period, uh, last period, which is uh, similar with the SMU former. Uh, method uh, to monitor the C, uh, C0 resistance, then decide frequency is increased or decreased. Uh, however, this kind of CPU statics are mainly controlled by the ACPI uh, processor idle driver uh, in the Linux kernel, let's use the MM weight uh, FFH style translation to set CPU from C0 to C1. Current Linux kernel is manning using using the uh, completed uh, fail uh, uh, scheduler uh, we, we call it CFS uh, to manage the processor scheduling uh, because the scheduler is available of all the processors uh, including the kernel and the user space execution uh, status uh, the the CFS scheduler provides a per entity loading checking uh, a method we call it PLEPELT -E uh, to manage the real uh, workloading at real time. Uh, the schedule 2 works based on the DVFS uh, for task managers by the CFS. The DVFS uh, is dynamic voltage and the frequency scaling uh, and the real time and the deadline scheduler uh, tasks are always running on the highest frequency. And it is the user mode, uh, and this is the user mode CPU power uh, extension tool uh, to manage the CPU frequency subsystem running status. Uh, we also add the uh, MDP state and the ACPI uh, CPPC lib uh, support uh, in this tool. Uh, our flat uh, we, we also introduced the AMD P state tracer uh, in the Linux kernel uh, as well. Uh, it is very useful too uh, to monitor the uh, uh, processor running state start status uh, that can be used for the performance and the power tuning at, at platforms. And AMD P state driver uh, is brand new and we and can also work on some of old same processors. Uh, we introduced the unit test suites uh, into the self test as well. Uh, that is to make sure to have a good 
functionality on current system BIOS and the former supported platforms. Okay, uh, as we know, the MD processors, uh, um, the hardware platforms, uh, in, in the CPU uh, MD processors, the hardware platform level power management are controlled by the SMU former, uh, both on the CPU and the GPU portion. Uh, each MD CPU and the GPU are all used the SMU DPM, uh, we call it dynamic power management function to control the CPU, graphics, data fabric, clocks. Uh, the arbiter are uh, in the SMU former uh, is the state machine to manage the clock's control. Uh, please take a look at uh, uh, two uh, pictures, uh, which are the programming sequence that's how to get the CPPC func uh, capabilities data of the highest nominal, uh, lowest nonlinear, and the lowest performance, and expose them to the ACPI interface or MSR registers. And another is programming sequence, that's how to respond the request hints of CPPC, such as the max, many, desired performance, and the EPP values. Okay, uh, these are the dependency uh, components that we need to take care of uh, for the MDP state driver. Uh, firstly, uh, the first is the CPU idle driver. Uh, the MD CPU uh, is using the M1 weight uh, FF style translation uh, to set CPU from C0 to C1. Actually, the CPU idle framework is measured C0 uh, resistance percentage uh, in the uh, in the system, and and we uh, I, you know uh, I, I, I with uh, previous slide deck uh, I just mentioned uh, the resistance indicates the activity here uh, in the SMU former. Uh, that is the key impact factor uh, of the final target frequency. So, you know, uh, actually the uh, SMU former based uh, frequency control also depends on our uh, uh, kernel, uh, OS kernels, the CPU idle driver. Uh, and another components are the kernel governors. Uh, in the CPU freak driver, as suggested by the kernel maintainers, uh, we are trying to optimize the schedule two and on-demand governors for the MDP state driver. Uh, for example, schedule two can predict the workload directly, uh, which is more efficiency uh, uh, in uh, in serious uh, serialistic. And uh, but we still do more uh, tuning in the real hardware. You know, uh, we are still uh, need to tune in uh, the uh, new CPU freak driver uh, on our existing MD platforms. And the Linux, C uh, Linux CPU freak core offers a standardized uh, interface for the CPU freak subsystem, and we need uh, we use these interfaces and to implement a new kernel CPU freak driver, which name it MDP state. The MDP state module uh, is to instead of the Lexi ACPI CPU freak module implement CPPC function in the MD platforms, and it is to manage CPU frequency and uh, performance via the MDP state APIs uh, in, with the multiple Linux kernel governors. Uh, we are using the two different processor identifier uh, to know whether the processor supports the MDP state module or not. Uh, one is ACPI uh, CPC object uh, in the ACPI table uh, from the system BIOS, and another is a CPC ID. Uh, CP sorry, CPC CPU ID. Uh, the CPU ID is used for uh, checking the MSR support on the current uh, processor. Sorry. Uh, the MDP state driver uh, implements uh, CPU 
uh, data and uh, and to uh, structure data structure uh, to store the private MD specific information and the function callbacks, and we implement the MDP state regist uh, write and read helpers for the capability and the request interfaces. And this driver implement uh, freak QoS request instance for the uh, free constraints. Uh, the constraint, uh, the constraint structure sets the uh, limit range uh, between the maximal and the minimal frequency, uh, which register into the Linux PM QoS uh, framework. Uh, the QoS is quality of service, and then we also implement the CPU uh, uh, performance scaling driver RST. Uh, Re -re restructured text uh, kernel documentation, uh, which is uh, to introduce uh, this driver uh, details. And please feel free to access this link to know the details. Uh, we will maintain this document documentation as well. And okay, uh, move. Uh, let's continue to uh, looking at MDP state driver. Uh, this module uh, is MDP state driver instance uh, to implement. Uh, the general uh, operations are uh, in the callbacks functions. Uh, it can excuse the relative performance and scaling control. Uh, let is indicate in, uh, let is dedicate it for the MDP state interfaces on the MD processors, uh, such as the uh, 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 target and the adjuster uh, adjust uh, adjust perf. Uh, uh, that is the uh, frequency update functions. Uh, the target, uh, the target, uh, is the traditional callbacks, which is used for the on-demand and the schedule util governor. And the just perf uh, is the fast switch function uh, that is only for the schedule uh, util governor. Uh, in fact, they are uh, all used for mapping the functions uh, in the governors. Then the kernel governors can manage the p-state performance hints uh, with the MDP state module uh, for each processor core. Uh, in future, uh, we uh, we plan to implement the kernel parameters uh, to switch the different frequency management pol uh, policies and uh, customize the different management uh, policies for specific uh, product. Uh, we will also implement uh, the EPP uh, energy performance preferences, uh, pre-reference control, and the prefer core and the fast CPPC. I also would like to discuss uh, uh, with the Linux power management developers uh, for the further support in the Linux Primo uh, conference as well. Okay. There are two static trace events uh, that can be used for the MDP state uh, di diagnostics. Uh, one of them uh, is the CPU uh, frequency tra uh, trace event, gen uh, which generally are uh, used by the CPU freak. Uh, we can use the trace. Uh, we can use this trace uh, to monitor the real-time CPU frequency of each logic core. And another is MDP state perf uh, tracer, trace event, less specific for the MDP state driver. Uh, it can be monitored all the performance goals uh, which MDP state programs for uh, to the hardware side uh, at the wrong time. And this is an example uh, of the trace event that MDP state module um, it, uh, that's definitely uh, very useful uh, debugging information for performance tuning. Okay, uh, we then we can leverage the trace event uh, in the Linux kernel uh, to develop a user spacer uh, tracer tool. The tracer tool is a Python script and can record and parser the tracer logs. Uh, this feature is to check the latency uh, between uh, why we have a workload and why we 
uh, why the CPU frequency is increased. So we can, uh, uh, you, you can, uh, you can look at this picture. Why we have a workload, then the frequency is increased, right? And uh, uh, once the application is gone, uh, the workload is also gone, and then the frequency is uh, go down for the uh, very low level at this moment. So uh, we can monitor the runtime data. Uh, that's every time we write into the performance goal uh, into the hardware registers. Uh, uh, and check the runtime uh, and and at the same time we can also check the uh, runtime CPU frequencies uh, at the same time uh, please see the uh, this this kind of the uh, data yeah from the Excel file. Uh, also, that is the this is the link of this tour uh, to of for the MDP state chaser detail implementation. Okay, MDP state exposed uh, several global attributes uh, files in the CFS uh, to control its functionalities at system level. Uh, this attributes file uh, located uh, in the uh, in the under the uh, CPU free subsystem, uh, and this is the parts of the uh, uh, this is the parts of the uh, uh, CFS uh, interfaces, and and they indicate uh, the highest and nominal and the lowest nonlinear and the lowest processor performance values and the frequencies. These APIs are used for the uh, M, uh, CPU power tool and the, in MD uh, P-State driver we only implement uh, the uh, the different uh, the, the different frequency and the performance uh, which is not including in the CPU PC leap yeah here and the list says the uh, CPU power tool and the library uh are the um uh, sorry and and this picture we introduced the cpu power tool and the turbo state uh, uh support and the cpu power tool and the library uh use a space tool uh to query uh and assess the cpu uh freak apis and this tool is suggested by the Linux community and widely used uh, by the Linux world as the processor uh, power conf uh, configuration applications. Uh, it's at two components uh, let the MDP state performance and the frequency level helpers uh, and the MDP state CFS operations handling. Uh, and we also add generate general ACPI, CPPC, CCFS APIs uh, into this library. Then the user can control the CPU uh, power tool uh, to manage the MDP state module. And the turbo state uh, will be the next step we would like to support uh, for displaying the frequency and power consumptions, idle status, and so on. Uh, that's definitely a very famous tool in the community. Um, uh, this, uh, and we will introduce unit test port at uh, the UT uh, is the unit test test module uh, to test the MDP state driver functionalities. Uh, it is for verifying the support of the system BIOS and the firmware on existing the CPUs. Uh, you know the MDP state driver is new, uh, but it can run on many old CPU, uh, MD CPU platforms. So we would like to have a uh, unified test baseline that can be running on all the CPU platforms that support it for uh, support it on uh, the CPU PC. And we will add more CPU benchmark automation testing uh, such as T-Bench and Git source in the test module. Uh, it's leveraged uh, 
kernel self uh, test framework uh, to implement it. Uh, then each developer and the user can easily uh, test and uh, test the performance data uh, in their platforms and also easy to test all the existing CPU platforms with CPPC functionalities. So it's definitely a very useful tool and we will add more test suites and test steps uh, into uh, uh, the kernel repos. Um, we are using the RAPL, uh, the running uh, average power limit interface to calculate energies of current CPU package power. And we are using the uh, uh, perf tool uh, to monitor the energy consumptions while we are running the any CPU benchmarks. The APIs uh, is already implemented uh, in the Linux kernel uh, right now for all the Zen based uh, processors. Uh, this approach, uh, the, the, the approach uh, can be used for the performance provide testing on the CPU platforms. And this is the guidelines of formula that we uh, calculate performance per hour scaling uh, for each benchmark test. Community uh, provides a paper to explain how could we test and uh, uh, and measure uh, the performance per hour uh, data. And I didn't go very details. I didn't want to go very details here. Uh, uh, if you have. Uh, any interest, uh, we can discuss it uh, in offline. Okay, uh, we pick up the uh, MD CZM processors uh, to to do the some performance per watt testing on the multiple CPU uh, benchmarks. Uh, this is the T bench test result. They are the average data. Uh, let MDP state uh, got three percent uh, drop uh, in uh, with the uh, schedule tools and the two percentage increment with the performance governors, and these are the uh, fifteen times uh, average data and uh, uh, pictures here, and uh, below, uh, this is the test environment uh, we we get from the this benchmark. And I, uh, I we were also provide the the T bench test swift uh, and, and for the U, uh, MDP state UT and then the user can verify it in their platforms as well as well at the same time. Uh, you know, uh, the MDP state is still brand new. Uh, even we have a good uh, prefer uh, we have a better design, uh, but we still. Uh, do more um, power and the performance optimization in the existing uh, BIOS former and uh, kernel driver. And, and that is the uh, Git source benchmark test. They are the average data uh, here. Uh, the MD uh, P state can got uh, very positive the uh, data in this kind of benchmarks, and and we and the MDP state can got about uh, twenty four percentage improvement improvement uh, with scheduled U two and thirty per percentage uh, with on demand governors. So uh, we can have a good data on this kind of benchmarks, uh, but we still need to uh, have uh, more issues uh, to investigate. Uh, how can we get uh, the performance data uh, in this kind of benchmark? Not only say power, uh, performance, uh, uh, perhaps we need to uh, do uh, balance during the performance and the power, uh, and the power side. Okay, uh, this is the speedometer uh, benchmark, which is required from the Chromebook. And and uh, you uh, schedule two uh, governors performance per watt is almost the same, uh, but we still uh, need testing and optimization, 
optimizing the power based uh, and sorry uh, we have a nine uh, percentage prefer, uh, improvement on in the on demand uh, but they face the three uh, uh, percentage drop uh, in the performance governance so um, uh, you know the Chrome uh, is uh, is default uh, using the uh, on demand for the MD pr uh, platforms, uh, so we can have uh, uh, a bit improvement in the uh, Chromebooks here, uh, but we still uh, do need to do more optimizations. Uh, you know, I just say uh, the MDP state uh, is still new, and uh, we still. Uh, continue testing and uh, optimization the power based on the Chrome software platform. Okay, uh, finally, uh, let's uh, talk about the current status of MDP state driver. Actually in design, uh, uh, both on hardware and software design, uh, we are the, we, we are the MDP state, uh, CPPC, uh, uh, provides a final grand uh, performance uh, range uh, instead of the Lexi ACPI CPU uh, ACPI P state uh, which leverage for the ACPI uh, CPU freak driver uh, less, the, uh, less the many improvement from uh, this driver but uh, so far we still a long way to go uh, we need to do more testing because it is new. Uh, we can support uh, this kind of driver in the existing platforms, uh, Zen, Zen 2 and the Zen 3 platforms as well. And and we uh, spend also spend a long time to go upstream. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, in the Linux kernel 5.15, uh, we have the MDP state driver uh, support. And in kernel 5.18, uh, we have a CPU power tool and support and the MDP state tracer tool support. And in for in the uh, kernel 6.1, uh, we were introduced a new MDP state UT uh, unit test support. And and in the next, uh, we, we were introduced the EPP and the preferred core support uh, in future. Uh, we can uh, we can see some uh working uh, uh status uh from this uh bureau working uh repo uh git trees um and you know uh at last uh it is a brand new driver uh mdps for mtp state so we still uh, need to have a long way to go uh currently we face um, some challenges uh, the first uh, we we still have uh, some challenges. Uh, the first one um, is uh, we need to resolve the performance and power issues on the multiple benchmarks. You know, you know, uh, we still face the shared memories issue, performance provide jobs, uh, which compare with the uh, ACPI CPU freak driver in this kind of processors. Uh, we definitely still have some issues. And we uh, and the second, we still need to cover all the existing the CPUs uh, platforms uh, with the different types of processors as the mobile, uh, uh, desktop, server, and so on. And the third uh, is we still need to optimize the power on the Steam Deck uh, for gaming, uh, that with the Proton. Uh, because you know the proton were leveraged while uh, the while were talk with to the MD uh, uh, sorry the, the while were talk to the CPU freak APIs directly so maybe we can do some uh, good uh, transactions between the proton uh, and uh, and the CPU kernel uh, CPU freaks uh, driver for the MD platforms to make the we have a better gaming power and the performance and and in future so that's all for uh actually less the challenges so far uh we uh we will try to address the, uh this kind of concern for uh this uh this kind of the uh, challenges for for us so and uh, yeah 
that's all for my site. This, uh, these are the performance uh, links and for the uh, the whole pictures MDP state driver design. Uh, feel free to uh, ask me any questions and uh, then we can discuss here uh, or mail me. Uh, it's welcome. Any questions are welcome for me. And uh, also, um, thank you very much uh, for listening. And uh, that's all uh, for my side. Okay. Um... Uh.